Alright guys, so the next thing we need to do is we just have to install Docker. So I'm just going to copy these lines here. Um, let's clear the screen. And run this. Okay. Copy this. Almost there. Okay, so now I'm running this second command here. Um, I'm not going to use that. Uh, let's try this. Cool. And this is just a confirmation that it's up and running. So, so it's downloading this Hello World container. Okay, it looks like it worked. So this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. Okay, so the installation of Docker is done. Now we just have to install Plex. Um, so. There's some. No, we just need to do. Is Docker install? Yeah, right, Docker pull. So we need to run this Docker pull command first. So this just downloads it. This next command here is to configure it for our system. Um, so we're just going to say docker create and then give it this um, th this information. So if we said docker create before install before running um, this, it wouldn't know what that was. So that's why I had to do that. But Yeah, so we need to make a folder for the config data to go to. So the config data is like information about um, the media that gets uploaded here. So like things like art, artwork, like album covers, movie covers, stuff that Plex downloads and associates with our files is going to go in this config folder. So I'm just going to make a new, uh, I'm actually going to switch users back to um, Fran and I'm going to go to my home directory and just make a directory called um, Plex Metadata um, and that's going to be our our metadata folder so done with this. So here we're going to say slash home slash slash plex metadata. Then path to, we don't have any TV series or movies, so we're going to say path to, this is going to be uh, to the music. So this would be so where's our music installed here? So if we go to the MNT directory, Fran Archives. So in the future, I'm going to put like a movies folder, um, TV series folder, but we just have this music folder. Um, so this is what we need to copy because this is where the this is the path to the TV series. So. 
and this is just what do you want to call this and I'm gonna call it uh, music So we actually need to get rid of that, right? Yep. Okay. So if we copy this, this should work. Hit enter. Okay, so we got permission denied, so I need to put sudo in front of it. So I think that worked. Now we need to uh, like start it somehow. Oh, here it is. This, these are this is the instructions I was looking for earlier. Docker start plex. So sudo docker start plex. Okay. With any luck, this should uh, should have started. So. The next question is, how do we know what IP address, like how to visit Plex? And I think it's um, the same for every Plex install, like the default Plex. So, Plex um, address. Let's try this. Oh no, it's a default port. That's what, so the the IP address is you know the IP address of this machine, right? So zero dot one eight seven. There we go. Okay, so what's happening is in Proxmox we have a sir a VM that has an IP address of this and we're accessing Plex through this port here. So this means we installed it successfully. Um, I'm just going to call this Fran Plex server. And I'm going to allow it to access outside of my home. Now it's going to say add data. So we're going to add music and add folders. Now this music directory is the one that we um, configured in this this command right here, right? So if I called this like Franz music or something like this, it would have showed up as Franz music here. But I just called it music, so that's um, that's what it's showing up as. So. I'm just going to click that, and if you remember earlier I was copying over all that music and it looks like it already finished, so it looks like all my music is here. So I'm just going to hit add, and then add library, and next, done. I don't know how it knows, like this is for my old Plex installed. I'm not sure why it's remembering that. That's interesting. But you can see it's working here and I'm just going to play it. And I can hear music. I was trying to figure out how on OBS to so you guys can hear the music. But if I hit play, it's working. Um, and it's it's just going to take some time to set up, you know, to scan all of my music. So if you look up here, it's this is what it's doing. It's you know, it's scanning all the data. Um, you won't see a duplicate like this. This has something to do with the fact that I had another Plex server, the exact same name before. Um, I'm trying to think wh like how it would show up, but I'm not sure. Um, anyway, 
that is um, that's all I wanted to show you. That's uh, that's how we get Plex up and running with Docker on Ubuntu on Proxbox. So if you guys have any questions or comments, just please let me know. Um, hope this was helpful for some somebody. Uh, yeah, thanks.